The separatists are preparing for another attack on the heavily contested town of Debaltseva. Despite this week's peace deal, the two sides have continued to battle it out. The Ukrainian military says it's lost seven soldiers in the last 24 hours. Kiev and Washington believe Russia is pouring arms and troops into eastern Ukraine to support the rebels. The Russian military has deployed a large amount of artillery and multiple rocket launcher systems around Debaltseva, where it is shelling Ukrainian positions. We are confident that these are Russian military, not separatist systems. The Russian military also has air defense systems deployed near Debaltseva. We are also confident these are Russian military, not separatist systems. This is clearly not in the spirit of this week's agreement. Meeting with Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko warned the new agreement is in danger of failing. He says the separatists are making a last-minute territory grab. After what we reach in Minsk, this is not just an attack of Ukrainian civilians and of Ukrainian living sector. This is an attack of the uh, Minsk results. And without any explanation, because unfortunately after Minsk, the uh, offensive operation of Russia uh, intensified uh, significantly. Under the Minsk agreement, a ceasefire goes into effect at midnight. After that, a buffer zone should be created with both sides withdrawing from the front line. But many locals don't think it will work. They are fleeing across the border into Russia, leaving behind a homeland that's turned into a war zone.